X24 strikes again. Hey, we just heard a coyote barking in this wood lot here. Whoa! Love getting in on some pound down action. Yes. Well, I've had a couple landowners contact me about seeing and hearing coyotes here lately. We've also got some good calling weathers moved in, so I want to get on these coyotes pretty quick. Study my Onyx maps, trying to get a good idea where I think the coyotes might be laid up. On this first property, I think they'll either be in this standing crop field, this strip of woods right here, or this big block of timber. I think we can call this pasture field right here and should be able to drag them out into the open no matter where they're laid up. Now on the second property, this is actually down at my dad's. His house is right here and he's been hearing coyotes howl in the evenings directly behind him. He's guessing right here in this area. I should be able to set up in the corner of this pasture field and should be able to drag coyotes right out here in the open. Anyway, we're gonna start hunting tomorrow morning. Y'all stay tuned. My dad's always asking why I hate cattle. A little bit of fog out right there. There go my cows, they gotta go check it out. Take their babies over to Oh, I see a coyote too. There are two coyotes out there. There's one running right, right there. There's one right there at that feed. Dang cows will not move. I don't want to throw a lot of sound out there and get those coyotes to come back out. Because if they do, I can't do nothing about it. So what I'm gonna do is scan that area best I can. I don't know if you guys can see them on camera, but there was actually a coyote, maybe two or three coyotes. I know more than one, at least two coyotes ran through that next pasture field. If I don't see no sign of them there around these cattle, I'm actually, I think I can get that next field. Maybe I can call them up.
believe that worked out. Like a big old milk coyote. Yes. Now I know there was two coyotes. There was two coyotes that come across here when I was in that other field. And I've had to come over here. This is at this point it's 17 minutes and 58 seconds. So that's how long it took to coat some coyotes back out. I was starting to wonder if I bumped them. But anyway. X24 strikes again. Let's gather up a coyote over here. Here, I even got the farmer to come see me. See if we can't find her coyote out here. It's in this tall grass somewhere. Mother! Gotta show them how good a job I've done for them. What do you know? Oh, you run over my pet coat right oh, there. I didn't even hear you shoot. Took this thing off for a second. That's probably one of them you've been getting on camera, isn't it? It is. Probably there's a couple of them back here. Well, maybe it won't run off you. You big bucks now. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't been seeing them either. Oh, really? You're going to have to get scouting harder. Yeah. Uh, we had a camera down there. Had some pictures. But, uh, they kind of disappeared last week or two. Yeah. Well, maybe they'll come back. I actually started out over there, but the cow, I actually called two coyotes out into this field, but they wouldn't come over because cattle were running circles. So anyway, we crossed over here and got one of them killed for you. Good deal. Good deal. Always good when you get to show your farmers what you've done. Right here's a coyote. Big old pretty sucker. Looks like a bigger coyote to me. Big old teeth on him. It is a male. Male coyote. Oh, yes. Can't believe our move worked out. We was actually in that uh, pasture field over there. There's electric fence separates these two fields. And I was right there towards taller trees right out there in the middle. Just ripped out a set of house. Sure enough, I'm sure it was this coyote and another coyote I saw zip through over here in the corner. The way those cows was acting, it was not going to work over there. So I elected to get up, moved right over to this fence, got set back up, and I run through several sand, started out with some pup pals, run some social interaction stuff, and just, just went through the whole the whole deal. And uh, pretty much thinking that, uh, that they wasn't going to come, that maybe I'd bump them or the cows was pooping too much. But finally played an aggressive fight there at the end. Here you come back out, could not stand it. Another coyote down right here in central Kentucky. Hey, look here. Long sleeves, vest, 49 degrees right here in the bluegrass state this morning. Should make for some good coyote calling. See if we can't call some another one or two or three or maybe even four up this morning. Got a nice stand right here. Got a big pasture field. And my wind is actually blowing kind of at an angle way out there to the left, you know, like straight out through there, out into this pasture field. Got a big uh, thicket right out here in front of me. It used to be a wood lot and they, they logged it like really, really heavy just a couple years ago, so it's grown up in nastiness. Perfect, perfect for coyotes. I'm actually gonna start off with a little bit of Eastern Cottontail this morning. Two thirds away into September. They should be start. They should start coming to prey distress stuff pretty good. There's actually two spots they usually enter this field right there. The gap underneath the fence right there in that swag. And then there's an old gate right over in the corner. It's got some slides out there that they'll come through. Yeah, played the rabbit for about three and a half, four minutes. No takers. Said it is about time for them to start coming to pray the stress pretty you, but vocals have been have been where it's at, so we're gonna go right back to those. I'm just gonna play Sister Powerhouse from the MFK.
see some weeds moving. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Downtown strikes again, baby. Some wild action right there. Yeah. Oh. Love getting in on some downtown action. Yes. Play this little aggressive fight here a little bit. See if we can't drag another one out. That guy looks really inspired up. Sorry for the little hectic camera action. When I get like that right there, it's hard to hard to control all of it by yourself. What a gorgeous morning to be making coyote stands. Here it is about two thirds through September, gaining on October fast. Leaves are just now starting to, starting to change color just a little bit. It's cooled down. As you can see, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and a vest. It don't get no better. Right here, we got a X24. Doing what it does best. See if you can see it right there. That right there says X24, made in the USA. And then right there is a coyote laying right on the ground. Go we'll see what we got. It sure was a mean acting sucker. I'm betting it's a male. Let's see here. It's a pretty coyote. Light colors. Man, look at the teeth. Wore down on the tips. That's an older coyote. Look at that. Look at that right there, look at that, that fang is broke off and wore down, tips of that wore down, the bottom fangs are wore down flat there a little bit, that's an older coyote, big, good mature coyote. And it's actually a female, it's a female coyote, and a pretty one at that. Yes sir, oh yeah. Man, I cannot get enough of it. Beautiful. Awesome, fun call in. Coyote got a little vocal, got to barking. Come run circles around the X24. Made for an exciting, exciting stand. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for joining us right here on Fox Pro Hunting TV.